Good evening, folks. How's everybody doing today? We got airtime in the house, cuz. Pine Rider, what's up, Greg? Uh, Fester's in the house as well. How's everybody doing tonight? Jeff says a depressing Sunday night. Sorry about a depressing Sunday for you, Jeff. Hope everything's okay. Uh, let's see who else is there. I think I got everybody. Bob Ellis is in the house. What's up, Bob? Sweet. Looks like uh, we got most people that are in the break. Let me pull up my window. Let's see. Fester James Mountain Gorilla. He's in the break. Uh, Greg B. Greg B. Pine Riders in the house. Airtime Mansman. Jeff Nickel. Uh, Throw Pack Josh. Ron Fig and Bob Ellis. So it looks like we're only missing. Uh, Josh and Ron and James. If they're here, maybe they might be lurking in the background. Just working on something right now for the draft board. I'm getting that cleaned up for a second. Missing nickel and fig. And Mountain Gorilla. Haven't seen Mountain Gorilla in chat. Alright, we'll give it a couple minutes. Let some folks jump in. I see where Cuz said MG! Exclamation, exclamation. I don't see anywhere in chat. YouTube's been uh, purging chats for some reason again. Uh, some chats not showing up happened to Tim in the last Cardboard Happy Hour. Cuz got an Aaron Judge short print out of a pack of 2018 tops from Papa J. Sweet. Sure, James will be fashionably late. Yeah, uh, there's probably some other streaming tonight. Um, I know BITG usually streams on Sundays as well. I didn't hop on YouTube before I started streaming really uh, to see who else was live. But like I said, we'll give them a couple minutes to, uh, to get in here. Um, and then we'll get started. So, did everybody have a good weekend? Uh, Jeff says, everything's okay all Sunday nights to president. Okay, I know the feeling. Uh, back to work on Monday. Yeah. Um, that's one thing about uh, Sundays that I remember. Uh, the late Sunday football, NFL football game, always filled me with dread as it was like coming to an end and it was over. And it was like, Damn. You know, school's tomorrow. <laughs> the weekend's over as a kid. That was like the uh, the the little uh, wake-up call, like, kid, yeah, you're going back to school tomorrow, was the the ending of the late Sunday football game, NFL. And I wasn't allowed to stay up late to watch the any Sunday night games. So, I don't even think we had Sunday night football. When I was a kid. I don't think we did. Was there Sunday night? When did Sunday night football start? Yeah, the bittersweet Sunday night games. I'm trying to think. When did Sunday night football games start? Because I know there was a time when the Sunday late game was like the last game. And you had Monday night football, of course. But Monday night football always came on too late to uh to watch. At least for me. Um... I could I could usually see the uh, Hank Aaron or not Hank Aaron but uh, Hank Williams theme song and then a little bit of football and I was off to off to bed. Is the Field of Dreams game a real MLB game? What do you mean, Cuz? Don't remember when the Sunday night game started. Yeah, I want to say um, I want to say I was like close to high school, if not high school, when Sunday night football started. Wonderful World of Disney was my weekend's overmark. <laughs> I'm old. Sunday night, 2006. Oh, so it was well after I graduated high school. Okay. 2006, Sunday night. I didn't think it was that long, but... Was it 2006 for real? I had to have started before that. Because I specifically remember... 
but it could have been a Monday night game. Was Dan Marino's retirement ceremony at a Dolphin Stadium? If I recall, when they unveiled like the Dan Marino statue at a Joe, well, it was Joe Robbie Stadium? It's called Hard Rock Stadium now. Was that a Monday night or was that a Sunday night? I remember they played the Steelers for some reason that night, and they won. And it was like rainy and muddy. It was a nasty, nasty football game. I don't want to say that was like 2000, 2001. I thought that was a Sunday night game, but it could have been a Monday night game. I could be mis- misremembering. <laughs> Laces out, Dan. <laughs> I hope Dan Marino dies of gonorrhea. Burns in hell. <laughs> oh, that movie. ESPN did it from 97-2005. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. Miami Dolphins and the Pittsburgh Steelers aired on September 7, 2006. NBC from 2006 forward. Yeah, it was before 2006, uh, Bob, because I was I was still in college when they did that, that whole retirement thing, where they unveiled the statue. Because Marino's last season was 99. And they unveiled the statue like, I want to say 2000 or 2001. Fiedler was quarterback, if I recall. <laughs> Good old Jay Fiedler. It might have been a Monday night game. But for some reason, I always remembered it as a Sunday night game. All right, folks. Enough foosball talk. Let's go ahead and get rolling on this, baby. Let's pull up the draft board and all that good stuff. There we go. Let me find my chat. What's up, Ryan? How you doing tonight? All right, y'all, let me know when uh, we get back because looks like lost connection there. We're back. Cool. Yeah, it's weird. It's like my internet works fine, but then like every once in a while, it's like, you know what? We're just going to stop sending uh, data right now. <laughs> We're just gonna we're just gonna cut off internet for like five seconds, you know, keep you on your toes. <laughs> All right, can everybody see the board? Are we still good? <laughs> Cuz says error error. You still spinning, Cuz? I always blame the wife and kid and their devices. Mine spins, yeah. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm straight into the, straight into the network, hardwire. So, you know, no other devices should be eating up the Wi-Fi signal. But you know, it happens. Usually, it happens once or twice a night for some reason. Looks like we lost a couple folks that haven't made it back in. All right. So Fester's back in here. Pine Rider's back in here. Airtime Mansman, y'all still in the still in the room? Jeff Nickel, making sure I didn't lose y'all permanently. Y'all, let me know, and we'll get started with the pack picker game. Okay. All right, Fester, you're first up. You get one number between 1 and 100. Uh, 
Fester says 60. All right. Let's get number 60. First pack, 2020 opening day. All right. Uh, James, Mountain Gorilla, if you happen to be in the house, need a number from you. If not, we'll do random. I'll give you a couple seconds to respond if you just happen to be a lurking. All right, we'll go ahead and pick a random for James. Random number between 1 and 100. It's an advertisement. I think it said 58, though. 58. All right. Pack 58 is... 2020 Donruss. All right, next up. We got Pine Rider, Greg. Two numbers, sir. Oops, that's the wheel. Twenty one and ninety six. All right. Twenty one. Twenty twenty prism. Nine to six. Twenty nineteen big league. Hobby pack. All right. Next up is airtime. Airtime and then Mansman. Airtime wants two. 2020 Prism. Man's been your next. 2020 Prism. Airtime said he could smell the coffee from there. Joe wants seven. Seven. 2019 Gallery. All right. Uh, Jeff Nickel, you get two picks. I know that's supposed to say cup, but it says there's nothing like a fresh, hot soup of Joe. <laughs> Coffee soup. Mm. <laughs> Jeff Nickel, you are up. Need two numbers from you, sir. Then Josh, but I don't think Josh is in the room. Here we go, 72 and 24, 72, 2020 Donruss, and 24, 2019 Donruss, alrighty, next up's Throw Pack, Josh, who is not here, so we'll pick a random number for him, 86, pack 86, 2019 Prism. Seems like a lot of Prism and Dunruss. Alright. Next up we got... Ron Fig. Ron Fig, you happen to be in the house yet, sir? I don't think Ron is here. Ron might be working. Still. Alright, we'll pick three numbers for Ron. We get 44, 52, and 14. 44, 52, and 14. Y'all remember those numbers for me. <laughs> 44, 52, and 14. 44, 2020 Big League, 52, 2019 Big League, and 14. 2019 Diamond Kings. Here's something different. <laughs> There's a lot of repetition in this one. All right. Next up, we got Bobby. Bob Ellis. It was two numbers, sir. Haven't been picked. Number 
Yeah, that's the thing with uh with with real names. Eight and eighty eight. Going for the eights. Crazy eights. Eight. Twenty eighteen optic. Eighty eight. Twenty nineteen prism. More prism. I'm here <laughs> fashionably late. Yeah. <laughs> Airtime said you're gonna be fi fashionably late. All right, back around to the top. Fester, give me a number, sir. You got random numbers, Ron. <laughs> 25. 25 is... 2019 Gypsy Queen. Alright, Gorilla's not in the house. Prime Rider, Greg. Give me two numbers, sir. <laughs> of course, uh, Cuz is trying to build the 20... Was it the 2020 Gypsy Queen? Or are you trying to build 2019 as well? Hobbyist. 18 and 77. 18. 2019 Big League, 77... 2019 Big League, who oh, knows? Trying to build 2020. Yeah, so if anybody's got any extra 2020 Gypsy Queen, hit up cuz. Alright, airtime. Then Mansman. Mansman, you get two numbers. Mansman, you only gave me one number last time. That was my fault. Mansman, give me three numbers. You only picked one pack your first round. My fault. So airtime and then Mansman, three numbers. Airtime one's ninety three. Twenty twenty Bowman. Twenty twenty Bowman. Thirteen fifty and seventy three. Thirteen. Twenty nineteen Arcas fifty. Another 2020 Bowman, 73. 2019 Holiday. I think that might be the last pack of that I got. All right, so who next? How many more packs? We got three packs. So Nickel, two numbers, and then Fig, give me a number. Fifty six and twenty nine. Fifty six. Twenty nineteen Gypsy Queen. Twenty nine. Twenty twenty Big League. All right, Ron, you get the last pack. Last pack. Fifteen. Twenty nineteen Big League. A lot of Big League in this one. All right. Something strange happened. I don't think it's happened before when picking these packs. We didn't have a single repack. <laughs> Not a single card obvious repack made it into the break. All right. So I'm going to copy this over to Notepad. Do the normal drilly. Awesome, Joe. Glad to hear it. Should be some fun cards to sort through. <laughs> What's up, sports kids? How you doing? This is number 23. All right. That is your break, folks. Had a blast of your LCS suite. All right. Head over to the draft board. Here you see everybody's names. Uh, we're going to go ahead and randomize the teams, and then I'll let y'all work out trades and whatever while I pull all these packs. So, let's go ahead and randomize. Good luck, folks. Alright, Fester got the Padres Reds, Gorilla got the Marlins and Phillies. Pine Rider, Twins, Rangers, Giants, Tigers, Airtime got the Cubs and Red Sox, Mansman with the 
D-backs, Astros, A's, and Pirates. Nickel got his Braves. Hey, there you go, Jeff. White Sox, Rockies, Royals. Throw Pack got the Yankees and Rays. Fig got the Brewers, the Angels, the Nets, the Blue Jays, Cardinals, and Engines. Bobby got the Dodgers, Orioles, Mariners, and Mets. So I'll let y'all work out trades. I'm going to go microphone silent here for five to ten minutes while I pull all these packs. Um, I'll put on some Muzak for you, and then I'll come back and we'll do any trades that got worked out. Be right back. Okay, airtime, you got yours? Sweet. All right.
right, folks, I am back. Y'all let me know. Are any trades confirmed? I need both parties to confirm the trades. And I'll make them on the board. A's for Mets. A's for Mets. Bob E, is that confirmed? Okay, A's for Mets. Bob E, the Mets going to Mansman for the A's. All right. What was the other trade, Bob? Blue Jays for Dodgers. All right. Blue Jays for the Doyers. All righty. Uh, Nickel and Nickel, who are you, uh, you're trading with? Brewers for White Sox. Brewers for White Sox. Alright. Brewers for White Sox. Alright. Were there any more deals that I missed? Trade window closes in about 20 seconds. Not unless throw showed up. All Correa's to airtime. Okay, we'll do. Alrighty. Let's lock this in. Done. Trade window is closed. All right. Here's all the packs. Who bought the most spots in this one? It is Ron Fig. Ron Fig, you get to choose the envelope for the budget hits. We have one, two, three, six, nine, and ten. So, Ron, if you're still in the house, pick an envelope. One, two, three, six, nine, or ten. Three is the magic number. Yes, it is. Magic number. All right. Let's get to ripping. These are all the packs. It's kind of an odd break. No hobby packs, no repacks. It was interesting. Alright, we're going to start with opening day. We'll start with the budget stuff. 2020 opening day. Let's get the focus right. I guess you can't see my icons over there. Come on, Edmund, get in focus here. There we go. One second. Getting recombobulated. All right. Tommy Edmund. Raffy Devers. 
Trevor Story, Hanser Alberto, Patrick Corbin, Bang Bang Bregman, and a New York Yankees opening day. Yankee Stadium. Nothing going in that first pack. Let's do all these big leagues. First pack, Eddie Rosario, Justin Verlander, Mike Fires, Tyler Glass now, got an Acuna, Sabanero Soy, Players Weekend nicknames, got a Locaine Gold, Ahmed, Leader is going to the Rockies, got a Yelly, and an Aaron Hicks. Tim, what's up, my friend? How you doing tonight? Or this morning, depending on when you work, Tim. All right, Wellington Castillo, Marcus Simeon, Yelly going to the Brewers, LeMahieu, Wall Climbers, Yelly. Got a gold Tortuga. Oh, we got a black and white in here. Very nice. Josh Reddick. Josh Reddick going to the Astros, numbered 30 out of 50. That is a hit from Big League. Black and white. Jose LeClerc, Mitch Hanniger, Clayton Kershaw closes out the Big League pack. All right, three more of these. We got a Severino, Ledmus Diaz, Austin Meadows, this one going to the Royals, Whit Merrifield, Hosmer insert, Trey Turner, gold, 25% off, BL25, you can try that code, see if it still works. Uh, Chance Cisco, Tim Anderson, Jonas, and Ryan McMahon. Dansby Swanson, Yelly, this one going to the Mariners for Edwin Diaz, Scherzer, another Scherzer, Gold Cueto, Joey Votto, Winker, Rendon, and Bregman going to the Strohs. Alright, last pack, 2019 Big League. Stroman, Buzz Tuve, Jackie Bradley, one of the Red Sox, Mookie, Trevor Story, Blastoff, uh, Gold, Tucker Barnhart, Robbie Ray, Miguel Rojas, Yaziel Puig, and Trevor Richards. Dropped a like even if I'm not in the break this week. Appreciate it, Dennis. How you doing? All right, let me get these sleeved up. leave all the inserts and in gold so you are seeing the design of 2019 big league 2020 big league my opinions a much better design i know they went wood grain with the uh 2019 but 2020 big leagues really nice clean design reminds me of a uh, like early 80s fleer Just very simple. Early 80s Fleer without the blurry pictures. Come on now, get in there. I like the fact that 2020 Big League Hobby Boxes come with an action figure. Yeah, the collector's boxes. Yeah. There's only four versions of those, right? I think I was watching Tim's video when he opened his. Uh, definitely the pool of those was the black and white Josh Reddick, 30 out of 50. 
38 out of 50, excuse me. All right, 2020 Big League. Yeah, 2020 is better design-wise, definitely. The pools are about the same. Uh, some of the inserts are better in 2020 as well. This one going to the Nets for Rendon. Buster Posey, but this design's... I love this design. Very, very simple. Trevor Bauer. Chance Sisko. Dustin May, rookie. Griffin Canning. Scott Kring Kingery. Throwing a spell. Orange is Mike Miner. Austin Riley. And another Scott Kingery. Scott Kingery Peck. Four figures, yeah. Kershaw's the one you got, right, Tim? And then, uh... Bellinger, Judge, and... Is it Altuve? I wonder if the Judge action figure is actually taller than the Altuve action figure. Uh, and this one going to the Angels for Trout. Roberto Perez. Hunter Dozier. Juan Soto. Tim Anderson showing off his muscles. I know that's a short print. Nah, they're both 453. We got a Chris Bryant, Ernge, DJ LeMayhew, Mike Trout, always gets a sleeve, Low Kane, and Gregory Polanco. <laughs> Roger Stripes. It's been a while since I've seen that. All right, let's do 2018 Optique. That was a great movie. All right, looks like we got a pink in this one. We got a Strasburg. Ian Happ. Pink is a Miggy. Very nice. And a June Calhoun. June Calhoun. Interesting. Must be a variation, huh? June Calhoun. No, they called him June. Like the Miggy Pink. Five figures Judge, Bellinger, Altuve, Posey, and Kershaw. Okay. I'm not big on the the figures because I I don't I never collected like the starting lineups or anything like that. Just wasn't into them. Keep that in mind for a rainy day. Stripes. All right, we have Brandon Crawford. This is 2019 Donruss. Heath Fillmeyer. Felt like there was another card stuck to it. David Bodie, Pablo Lopez, we got a pink Mancata, we got a fireworks Parker Karaki, Parker Karaki, or Karachi, uh, Ace, Kyle Freeland, and a Cody Bellinger. They look cheap. <laughs> Do they look like GoBots? To like Transformers, like growing up, I wanted a Transformer and I got a I got some GoBots instead. I was like, I don't want GoBots, I wanted Transformers. My parents weren't splurging the money to buy me a damn Transformer. Those things were expensive back in the eighties. Mom wasn't buying me no Transformers. She's like, you getting GoBots? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> All right. 2020 Donruss. Yeah, I got the knockoffs. I got knockoffs everything when I was a kid. I didn't get name brand nothing. <laughs> Buster Posey. 
Willie Calhoun, Sonny Gray, Travis Demerit, rookie, uh, Yoshitomo Setsugo, Jordan Yamamoto, and our purple foil is Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole, purple foil, and a Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Puckett. All right. Another pack, 2020 Donruss. They are the generic Walmart Army soldiers compared to G.I. Joe, right? I never got into G.I. Joe's. I'm trying to think what action figures I had. I had GoBots. Uh, I had uh, a couple of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures. I had the wrestling guys. I had Hulk Hogan and Junkyard Dog. The wrestling guys, the rubber wrestling guys. Uh, Nick Senzel. Aaron Nola. Mike, yeah, Shrimpsky. We got Randy Arozanena, Red Rookie. Nelly Cruz. We got a Baby Shark. Max Scherzer. Variation Baby Shark, unnumbered. We got a Jeff McNeil, Purple Foil, and a Kevin Mitchell. Kevin Mitchell. <laughs> I forgot about them. <laughs> Yeah, I never really had, like, a whole lot of action figures. That really wasn't my thing as a kid. I was more of a, like, a Legos kid. Hot Wheels kid. I was a Hot Wheels kid. Not a lot of Hot Wheels. I'd go build ramps out of, like, dirt or any pieces of wood I find and launch Hot Wheels as far as I could outside. All right, this is uh, 2019 Diamond Kings. I had Star Wars, G.I. Joe, He-Man, and One Trans I had He-Man when I was real young, but I don't remember them. In fact, I dressed as Skeletor one Halloween. I was Skeletor, which was awesome. Uh, Chris Sale, Kiki Coolier, Masters of the Game, Aaron Nola, Garrett Hansen rookie, and a Kyle Wright rookie. Nothing going in that pack of Diamond Kings. Oops, forgot to sleeve up the... Insert. <laughs> Airtime, the realist. Yeah, I had uh, some Star Wars stuff, but I don't remember my Star Wars stuff. I was so young when I got it. Um, I had the Tauntaun Luke. I remember that. Because the belly of the Tauntaun opened up, if I recall correctly. I had the Darth Vader carrying case for the... Uh, uh, Star Wars figures, but I don't really remember, like, all, all the different figures. I had Lando, uh, I had the Jabba Lando, and I had the, the guy with the, um, the Twi'lek, Jabba's Twi'lek, had him, Stretch Armstrong, Greg Visas, cause I had a lot of He-Man. <laughs> My friends told me, GoBots were Kmart Transformers, they were, Joe. <laughs> they definitely were. Uh, Cause you had seven Transformers, man. There's a Kevin Ricky, Clayton Kershaw, uh, Mitch Haniger, Devers, Tony Perez, Robin Yount, Mike Piazza, and a Kyle Tucker Ricky. Love archives. Love the Hall of Famers. So. If they're releasing archives this year, I'll probably definitely try to buy some blasters of that. Love me some archives because I collect hoffers. Alright, 2019 gallery. Bradley Moore, what's up, Bradley? How you doing? Alright, we got Bruce Hooper. We got something green in here. What's green? I don't remember green and no gallery. Alright, Domingo Santana. Bruce Hooper, Kyle Tucker rookie, just an insert. Looks like a Master and Apprentice card. It's Tony Gwynn and Manny Machado, green border. I've never seen these with a green border. This one's numbered at a 250. It's the first time I've actually seen one of these in a green border. It's interesting. One of the Padres, numbered Gwynn and Machado. All's good. Got home from church and belly's full. 
Sounds awesome. Belly full. Belly full of what, Bradley? <laughs> I mean, if it's full, it's probably was good. <laughs> Tim's never seen the green border either. Yeah, I've, n I've never even seen a green border. My favorite thing was Voltron. I, I had the lines that build Voltron. Dude, Joe, I loved Voltron. That was like one of my favorite cartoons as a kid. Voltron. Lisa's Chicken. There's another Cabin Rookie. You got Chris Bryant, Garrett Cole, and Josh Naylor. Did I sleeve up that other Cabin Rookie? Did I forget to do that in the one that was in archives? I don't remember if I actually sleeved it up or not. I did. <laughs> Who's Lisa? Lisa cooks the best chicken, apparently. But that's the second time I've heard Bradley uh, talk about Lisa's chicken. I need more penny sleeves. Yeah, I used to love Voltron. Voltron, there was this really stupid cartoon, I remember. It would always come on. It was the first cartoon when I got out of school. I want to say I was kindergarten. Maybe first grade. I want to say it was kindergarten, though. It was called Hot Rod. Do y'all remember that show? Where the person would turn it with it. He would turn into a car if he had hot liquid spilled on him. And then he would turn back to a human if he had cold liquids spilled on him. It was called Hot Rod. No lie, it was a real cartoon. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding this. I've already uh, sleeved it up. All right. Gypsy Queen 2019. We got a Jose Martinez. Rick Porcello. Ozzy Albies. Corey Seeger. Uh, we got a fortune teller, Luis Urias. And Antonio Senzatella. Antonio Senzatella. <laughs> Airtime wants a mini. Airtime, you uh, you really are ruining this Sunday, aren't you? If you want a mini, I'm disappointed with cartoons nowadays. They look too kiddish. I don't know. They were kiddish when we were kids, Tim. <laughs> it's just that we've gotten older. Mask. I really got into that. I remember the cartoon mask. All right, we got Ken Giles, Yadier Molina, Dustin Pedroia. Oh, look. <laughs> look at that. Jake Bowers, one of the Rays. I think Josh from Throwback had the Rays. Nice little random auto from retail. Jake Bowers, rookie. I don't know if this is numbered. Doesn't look like he's numbered at all. Jake Bowers, rookie. But, it's a hit. It's a surprise. It's a hit dance. <laughs> Very nice. Congrats, Thrill Pack. Josh on the hit. Jake Bowers. Surprise hits. Those are the first ones I looked at. Closing it out with a this guy and a Kenley Jansen. Only cartoon I remember watching was Inspector Gadget. Love Inspector Gadget. I just hated it because Inspector Gadget never figured it out because he was too dumb. You know? the The girl... And her dog always figured it out. 2019. Is this 2020 or 2019 Prism? Do 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 do. 
I did not like Speed Racer because that was that was one cartoon I did not enjoy. I did not enjoy Speed Racer. I watched a lot of Looney Tunes. Um, Voltron, like I said, was my favorite. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I watched that cartoon. George Springer, Manny Machado, Ryan O'Hearn, and Cole Stewart. Cole Stewart. <laughs> go, go, Gadget Arms. I started watching shows like Honeymooners and Taxi when I was like five or six. There you go, Jeff. Jeff was watching the, the um, so we got a purple in here. Might be a numbered parallel in here. Korea Dold. <laughs> All right, we got Patrick Wisdom, uh, Francisco Mejia. We got Albert Pujols. Oh, yeah, Fraggle Rock was awesome. We got a, what is this? This is like a, is this is a mojo or a wave of some sort. James Norwood Purple. It's numbered out of 25. I don't know the name of this one. What 2019 parallel was numbered out of 25? I would do a hit dance for a card numbered that low. If it wasn't a James Norwood. Who's James Norwood? <laughs> Night Court, yeah, Night Court. <laughs> Acid Rain, is that what it's called for really, Bradley? Or you just make that up. <laughs> it's a cool little uh, parallel. Numbered 14 out of 25. All right. 2019 Holiday. Yeah, I liked Looney Tunes. I even liked Tiny Tunes when Tiny Tunes came out. Uh, when I was a kid, there was a show. It was a Hanna Barbera show. It was called Pawpaws. Pawpaws. Um, I liked watching that show. As a cartoon, there's a Keston rookie. Degrom, Arietta, Colton Wong. There we go. Pete Alonzo, holiday rookie. We got the Glitter Snow Tanaka, Charlie Morton, Jock Peterson, Pedro Avila, rookie, and Miguel Sano. Pretty nice uh, little holiday pack that was. Way too much cartoons. Back at a Keston, an Alonzo, and a Tanaka Glitter. All right, four more packs left, folks, and then we'll look at the budget hits. All right, 2020 Prism. Foghorn, Leghorn, I say, I say. Yeah, Looney Tunes was great. And the Dustin May on the back. We got Willie Adamas, Bruce Hooper. Looks like we got a silver or an insert. It's a silver, Loriano. Our silver is Ramon Loriano. And then we got a Dustin May rookie. The ginger top. Burgundy Shimmer is what it's called. Cool. I've never seen one of those before. But it's numbered out of 25, so not a very easy pull. Feel like another hit dance is on the way. I would have done a hit dance for that Burgundy Shimmer if it was like a Kershaw or even a pull horse or a trout. I always liked the obscure characters on Looney Tunes. Because you had your common characters that were on there all the time, like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, um, Yosemite Sam. Uh, Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. I always like the obscure characters. I love Marvin the Martian. I like the uh, the big furry monster. Who was always like, where did he go, George? <laughs> Kirby Yates, Dallas Keuchel. We got Machines, Ronald Acuna Jr. And a Brilliance, Jacob DeGrom. Brilliance, Jacob DeGrom. 
Either one of those is a silver. It's disappointing. Taz, yeah. My favorite Looney Tunes character was probably all time. Hmm, that's a tough one. Maybe Marvin the Martian. Joe's Yosemite Sam Taz Bradley was that your favorite Looney Tunes character? I couldn't stand the Roadrunner, that annoying ass bird. That was like my least favorite. Looney Tunes character, and to this day, it is still my least favorite Looney Tunes character, was the Roadrunner. Because that coyote should have caught that bird once. At least once. That was an arrogant, cocky bird. Alright, we got Aristides Aquino, Randy Arena, got a Yordan rookie. This is 2020 Bowman. You got an Evan White, Bowman Scouts, Top 100. Ryan Mountcastle, Dan Dunning, Marco Luciano is not a bad one. It's paper. Our Chromes are Cole Wynn and Franklin Perez. Cole Wynn and Franklin Perez. And then closing it out with Eddie Rosario and Newman. And a Bo Bichette rookie. All right, last pack, folks. Last pack, twenty twenty Bowman. Remember, don't go anywhere. We still got the budget hits, and we got the wheel. There's a Gavin Lux right on top. Gavin Lux, Jordan Yamamoto, Shohei Otani. We got a Luis Robert. Throwback Bowman. Not too shabby. Oops. Knocking down cards. Brady Singer. Ronnie Mauricio. Bryson Stott. Our Chromes are Joey Cantillo. Or Cantillo. And Adley Rushman. Not bad. Kyle Lewis, Ricky. Matt Boyd. And Jose Barrios. Or Barrios. And that is the break, folks. We'll do a quick recap. After the budget hits, scared of what my wife will say when I get my medium flat rate box from Card Obvious. <laughs> it wasn't quite a medium flat rate box, uh, Bradley. All right, let's see what the budget hits are for today. Dun dun dun! We got a Aubrey Huff, Aubrey Huff chirography. Going to the Devil Rays, Aubrey Huff. It's an interesting uh, signature. At least it looks like Aubrey Huff. <laughs> no whammies. Dun dun dun. For the Pirates, we got a Niger Morgan auto rookie from Topps Chrome. It's a sticker. The Niger Morgan autograph. Dun dun dun. We got a Keon Broxton, Keon Broxton Stadium Club. This is an on-card auto. Going to the Brew Crew. Going to the Brew Crew. And last one. Dun, dun, dun. We got a Mark Melanson. Mark Melanson. Bowman Chrome. First Bowman. Blue auto. Uh, numbered out of 150. Going to the Yankees. All right. So, quick recap. Uh, Melanson Auto. Yeah, I mean, Stadium Club by the photos is great. Keon Broxton, Niger Morgan, and Aubrey Huff. So, no throwaway prospect autos in there. Those are all major leaguers. They're played in the major leagues quite a bit. All right. We got a Gavin Lux rookie. Robert Chrome Bowman throwback. Adley Rushman, Bowman Chrome, Jordan Rookie, Evan White Insert, Bo Bichette Rookie, Acuna Insert, DeGrom Insert, Loriano Silver, Dustin May Prism Rookie, 
Castanera, Holiday Rookie. Big Meat Pete, Holiday Rookie. Uh, Tanaka, Glitter Snow. Uh, Burgundy Shimmer, James Norwood out of 25, numbered 14 out of 25. Got a Jake Bowers autograph from Gypsy Queen. Uh, Fortune Teller of uh, Luis Urias. Kevin Biggio, rookie from Gallery. Green, Gwyn, and Machado out of 250. Another Biggio rookie, Archives. Uh, Masters of the Game, Aaron Nola. Scherzer, Baby Shark. McNeil and Garrett Cole, uh, Purple Foils. Pink Mankata, Pink Firework, Parker. Karachi. Uh, Purple Miggy. June Calhoun. Willie Calhoun. Uh, rated rookie, Dustin May, rookie, big league. Kingery, Defensive Wizards, Miner, and Bryant Orange. LeMayhew, insert. Got a Mike Trout. Got you a mini, finally. Yeah, Stadium Club is great. Uh, Josh Reddick, out of 50. Um, Willens Estudio Gold, rookie, big league. Uh, Players Weekend, Acuna, Locane, Gold, Yelly, insert. Hosmer, insert. Trey Turner Gold, Scherzer insert, Johnny Cueto Gold, Trevor Story insert, and a Tucker Barnard Gold. So, this break did not feature any hobby packs. And we got one surprise uh, auto. We got a low-numbered Prism. Also got a low-numbered Big League out of 50. Alright, so I appreciate everybody participating. We're going to go to the wheel. Go to the wheel. All right, here you see everybody's names that participated in the break. You got your name on the wheel for each spot you bought. And then also Fester and Ron Fig have bonus spots from not winning prizes in previous breaks. Ron Fig starting to build up bonus spots. Airtime lost all his bonus spots by winning in the last BBGB. All right. I'm going to shuffle these a couple times. Let me remove this bonus spot. Yeah, way to go, Jeff. Way to go winning on the wheel and losing all those bonus spots. <laughs> all right. We're just going to shuffle this a few times. And then we're going to spin the wheel. First name that pops up is going to get a voucher. $6.50 voucher to the uh, Card Obvious website. Basically like a free break spot. Um, the next three will get Card Obvious repacks. And then if your name isn't picked, you get plus one to the wheel for the next break you were in. All right. Get something to write with. The wheel finally showed you some love. All right. Good luck, folks. Looks like it's going to be Jeff Nickel getting the card hobby as voucher. Congrats, Jeff. I'll send you an email with your coupon code. Jeff's been lucky on my wheel. Of course, won the giveaway stash for the month of June. I'm gonna remove one of your spots. Remember, you can win multiple times, so... If you have your name on there multiple times, you can win. All right. Jeff, did you get that package, by the way? Did you get the uh, giveaway stash? Fester. Ah, Bob is the first repack winner. Congrats, Bob. Cool, glad it arrived. All right, we'll spin again. Almost Bob again, but I think Greg Pine Rider got him a repack.
Congrats, Greg. And the last spin. That's close. Ron. Ron gets a repack. All right, so that leaves airtime. Big one, nickel one, thrill pack. Uh, Mansman. Gorilla, James, Bob one, Craig B one, Fester. All you earn extra bonus shots and the next time you get into a break. All right, so Jeff Nickel won the $6.50 voucher. Uh, Bob Ellis, Pine Rider, and Ron Fig each get a repack. Airtime, Joe, James, Throw Pack, Josh, and Fester. You all get bonus spots the next time you are on the we or in a break. All right, so Bob, Greg, and Ron, give me a number between one and twenty-five for your repacks. We'll open those real quick. Show you what you got. And then I'll let you on with your Sunday nights to mentally prepare yourself for the work week ahead. Uh, 15 for Ron, 4 for Greg, and 16 for Bob's. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So Greg's 5, 6, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh wait, 15, Ron, 16, Bob. Alright, so, Greg, this one's yours. Turn my autofocus back off. You can see what cards you got. Caught up on comments. Sweet. All right. Greg, you got a Buddy Bell 82. A Sam Mejias. You got a Dellen Batantas rookie. You got a Johnny Cueto Ginter. And I see this Escobar. You got an Eric Hosmer. Looking all evil on this card. You got an Andujar rookie. Not bad. You got a Yadi Molina Diamond Kings. And your good card is... Dansby Swanson. Dansby Swanson from 2015 Contenders. And his Vanderbilt Uni. So thank you, Greg. Surprised I got it back in that team bag that easy. These are Greg's. All right, Ron. All right, you got a Jerkson Profar, you got a Tyler J, you got a Didi, on his bonus, Faulty, Max Scherzer, you got a Nate Lowe, or Nate Lau, rookie, you got a Vladimir Ballantine, blue, Team Heroes, you got a Ortiz, Hank Aaron Award, and you got a Fernando Tatis Jr. short print from Big League. He's one of the, one, one of the cards you want to pull out of 2019 Big League. Tatis short print. Very nice, Ron. Ron. Big. All right, Bob. Which is your pack. You got a Joey Gallo. You got a Buck Farmer rookie. You got a Brad Fulmer. Another Joey Gallo. 
Elvis Andrews. You got a John Jaha Gold Medallion. You got a Greg Holland. You got a Bob Wickman Gold Signature. And your good card is... Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge inserts. From 2019. Aaron Judge. A Aaron Judge. So congrats to the winners of the repacks in the voucher. Congrats to anybody who got some cards to add to their PC. Or some decent cards they want to flip so they can add something to their PC. Bobby. Uh, BBGB24 is now live on the site. So if anybody wants to get into the next Bargain Buster group break. Number 24 is live. Uh, you might want to get in. They've been filling quicker than before. So um, I know a lot of folks would wait a couple weeks or a week and some change and get into spots. But they've been selling out quicker and quicker. Uh, really appreciate all the support it's been getting. This is a really fun break. I really enjoy doing this break. You never know what you're going to get. I didn't have high hopes for this break. When After y'all picked the backs, I'm like, man, y'all didn't get a single hobby pack. Y'all got all these big league packs, and this was actually a pretty successful break considering what y'all picked off that uh, that board. Word's getting out. <laughs> it's too cheap. <laughs> you got to get in 650 for two teams. Appreciate it, Ron. Uh, everybody have a great night. Everybody have a safe and wonderful start to your work week. Um, remember, mindset over anything. If you don't particularly enjoy going to work or your job, it's all about mindset. So um, so thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. I will be live Tuesday night for Cardboard Happy Hour um, to sell some more cheapo cards. And I'll catch you all then. But until then, remember, you can only control two things. It's your thoughts and your actions. So stay positive. Be awesome. Be awesome to others. Keep ripping cards. Keep sharing content on the tubes. And I will see you all later. Peace. Peace.